Hey everybody, Steve Nixon here with FreeJazzLessons.com. Thanks for joining me here for today's tutorial. All right, in today's video, I'm gonna show you some really cool shapes that you can use to expand your improvisation, all right? So very useful, you'll hear a lot of players use these type of shapes. Um, this lesson will also really expand your concepts and your jazz theory as well, so very versatile stuff. Now, before we step over the piano, I wanted to take a quick second I've had a lot of questions from people recently asking me about the new program, the Jazz Platinum Players program that I'm releasing on September 21st. Okay, so here's the thing. I've been really lucky up to this point. I've been able to share music with so many people all over the world through my DVDs and the online courses I've created, thousands of people. And it's truly been an honor. And I'm very proud of the courses I've created up to this point. Um, but even with the success of these courses, I've always known that there's more I could do to help people. You know, I get emails from people every day saying they're desperate to learn. And trust me, I've been there before. You know, I've, 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 jazz piano is my life. So I understand, you know, the pain that comes in when you're trying to really get good quickly and, and enrich your life through music. So one of the things that we're going to be doing in the Jazz Platinum Players program that I'm really excited about, it's going to be so much deeper of an experience than just studying with the DVD is we're going to be working together live in a very small community here, small insider community. Uh, you're not even going to need to leave your house. We're going to be entirely over the internet webcam. You're going to be able to have me in the room with you, essentially speaking. And we're going to be working together through this whole program. I'm going to be giving you feedback along the way. You can ask me questions every step. Every time I teach something, we're going to be able to talk about it. I'm going to be able to help you break through all kinds of different concepts. So an incredible amount of feedback. There's going to be other students experiencing the course with you. So we're going to have this great sense of community, which... Um, you know, when I went to music school, that community around me, that was a game changer for me. So I'm excited to be able to bring together this community through this awesome information. And we're also going to get a chance to talk about, you know, your performances as well. So you're going to be able to send me videos as well. I'm going to be able to help you grow through listening to your playing. Um, I've been worked with teachers before in the past who've just, you know, they, they listen to my playing over, you know, on a gig that I did and just little tips that they do or they say are just like, you know, earth shattered. Oh my God, I never even realized that. And I may never have figured it out by myself if they hadn't played it for them, right? So very useful stuff. We're going to be able to do this for months together, right? So uh, I'm very excited about that. But one of the things we're going to be talking about in this course, we're going to have a whole month on this, is improvisation. And of course, like all my lessons, I always weave a lot of jazz theory in there as well. It's the basis of which we're learning, you know, uh, when you have that down, you can really learn anything. All right. So, but I wanted to get you started today before we launch this course. It's really useful information. I wanted to show you these new shapes and I think you're really going to enjoy them. All right. So we'll talk more about the Jazz Platinum Players program soon, but in the meantime, let's step over to the piano and get started learning. Thanks. All right, welcome to the piano. Let's get into some of these improv shapes here. So we're gonna look at a concept called vertical playing in today's lesson. This is a really cool concept if you're stuck kind of playing scales mostly while you're improvising. You know, if you kind of have this, I guess a little bit more of a boxy approach to improvisation where all you're doing is kind of scales up and down. There's nothing wrong with that particular sound per se, but it, it just sort of, you know, if that's all you're doing, it can get kind of boring, right? We don't want to put our listeners to sleep. We want to have all kinds of cool textures in our playing. All right, so what vertical playing is, is we're going to be thinking more of a chord-based approach to our improvisation. Okay, we're going to be using strategic chord tones on certain beats with arpeggiation as our sort of basis for building this, okay? So check this out. Let's say we are in the key of C major, okay? We're gonna play a two, five, one in C major. So D minor seven, G seven, and then our C major seven, right? So two, five, one. Okay, now over the two chord, and this is our first shape we're gonna look at. It's very easy, this first shape, okay? We're gonna play a one, three, five, seven, Okay, this arpeggio, and we're gonna mix it in with the stuff we're already doing. So you can mix in this type of sound with the scale stuff you're doing afterwards, okay? 
start adding that into your improvisation. So let me play a couple lines here. I'll improvise a few things. And I'm gonna improvise and throw this particular shape in. So here we go, one, two, three, four. Etc. Et right? So you hear that I'm, you know, I'm using this particular shape, and then I'm mixing into the bebop and the scale stuff that I'm doing. All right. So practice just throwing this simple shape in. All right. One, three, five, seven. So that's shape number one. Now shape number two. Okay, we're moving up the improv food chain here, right? Uh, in terms of arpeggio shapes, is going to be three, five, seven, nine. Okay, so we're just playing another arpeggio again, but the third is gonna be on the bottom, okay? And we're adding in our nine up top. So let's listen to a couple improvised lines where I demonstrate this shape. So one, two, uh, three. So et cetera, et cetera, right? So we have this three, five, seven, nine sound in there. Now, how about another shape? How about we use the fifth on the bottom? So here's our shape number three, five, seven, nine, eleven, as a new shape to start building lines off of. So check this out. One, two, three. So another cool shape, right? So three, excuse me, five, seven, nine, eleven. Okay, so that's shape number three. Now the last shape I want to show you here, okay, is shape number four, and this is with the seventh on the bottom is our arpeggio shape. So seventh, ninth, eleventh, and thirteen. Okay, so real pretty sounding, kind of blue and green sounding, right? Bill Evans, blue and green. Okay, so let me improvise a couple lines just featuring this shape here. So one, two, three. Et cetera, et cetera, right? I could go on all day, just kind of messing around with those shapes, right? But these shapes are not hard to play, but they're gonna add some variety, a little bit more sophistication and different sounds in your playing. And again, these are all just inside the scale, but we're organizing the scale in a new way, okay? So again, one, three, five, seven, that's our first shape. Three, five, seven, nine, that's our second shape. Five, seven, nine, eleven. That's our third shape, and then seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. All right. So practice exploring these shapes. You know, do them in your different keys. Make sure you can get them in F minor or you know E flat minor, whatever key you want to play in. Right. Try throwing them in a couple tunes as well. All right. So I have a lot of these shapes that I want to share with you in future tutorials. I want to help you practice this and really get this down. You'll hear so many great players use this. Bill Evans uses these type of extensions of the chords with arpeggios like crazy, Charlie Parker, Bud Powell, you know, so many great players use them. All right, so have fun exploring this and I look forward to sharing more music with you again very soon. Happy practicing and I will see you again. Thanks for watching.